So UPSC, what is this? Is this a test, an exam? Is this a bunch of subjects and your awareness about it? Is this about answer writing skills, reading and comprehension skills? Is this about personality? It's about all of that and a lot, lot more. If you understand the event and the current affairs with all its nuances, will you still be able to qualify UPSC? Let's say I give you the bat, the pads, the coach, time with Sachin Tendulkar. Can you become Virat Kohli? That is the question. Can you qualify? Sometimes we have everything we need, but we still don't get there. And this is because we do not understand what is the core that is being tested. When UPSC is testing you for becoming an IAS or an IRS officer, it is testing your overall personality. It is asking you whether you are fit to be a career diplomat, a career bureaucrat. And the answer to that is a lot of things beyond just understanding your subject, being uh, articulate about it to do with your personality, it has to do with your vision for India. It has to do with your approach, your work ethic, your self-awareness. There's many things with it. So how do we understand this secret of success, this success mantra for UPSC? We have codified it in a very simple way uh, for you guys. Edukemi calls Yuva. Y U V A. Uh, the success mantra starts with you and what your personality is, how you project it and your personality is uh, examined in terms of how it matches with a career bureaucrat or a diplomat. Things like integrity, things like work ethic, your perseverance, things of that nature, humility, you will deal with many people, you will deal with confusion and chaos, and how do you manage that? Is that ingrained in your personality? And this stuff you cannot learn overnight between mains and interview. There's a long process where you develop your personality to get at that level. And how you project it in front of people, are you calm, are you unfazed by difficult questions, controversial questions, are you paying respect? These are all aspects of you, your uh, personality and your projection. So this forms our core layer, ingredients that make you successful. Next comes the understanding layer. The understanding layer is all about your subject matter, what you studied, uh, different um, topics, how well you understand them, how deep and wide do you go, um, can you speak about uh, these uh, current events with authority, do you understand the significance it has for India and so on, right? That's the U layer. And then comes the V layer, which is the vision. The vision is your vision for India, the nation, and where you want to take it. Uh, the country has tremendous challenges everywhere and you may be passionate about some areas but do you have a vision is there clarity in that vision and is that clarity in that thought process in terms of how you uh, achieve that vision and then the fourth layer the final layer is the approach the approach is how you make it real how you drive through um, the confusions, the dilemmas, and get to action orientation, outcome orientation. How does that benefit society? And do you have an approach for it? And that is the A layer, the approach layer. So the ingredients of success for UPSC at a high level are across these or transcend these four layers. Y, U, V, and A. Y stands for U. U stands for understanding and application and V stands for vision and A for approach. These together form the core ingredient of your success in UPSC. And if you internalize this, if you understand this, that you are in the process of nation building, you took a decision that I will take this exam. And the reason for that is actually nation building. Somewhere deep in your heart, you want to make an impact to society, impact to the community you come from, and that's where this whole Yuva thing shines. And if you have all those four, you will be there in terms of um, you know, success, you will achieve success, you will stand with those who qualify. So too often, we take it as an exam, but it is a real test of your overall end-to-end -end personality and who you are and what you have to provide to the nation.